Welcome back to Black Magic Craft. I am again playing with my Plague City. It's never truly gonna be done. I might eventually stop working on it. I'm thinking of it like a living piece of work. I'm gonna be really open to constantly adding to it, uh, changing it. I think it was the last one I did. I did all these oil washes with, you know, a couple colors and it worked pretty good. But then later off camera, I actually went and put a ton more washes on this one using much more vibrant colors. I don't know if you can really tell there, but using some blues and purples and really bright yellows and greens. And I'll probably do that to some of these other ones in the future as well. There's all these holes uh, where you can put little detail pieces from these sets. And I, since the beginning, figured, you know, it'd be nice to do some kind of or walkways or something. And I left a lot of these holes open so that I could do that. And that's what I wanna to do today. I wanna to figure out how to make some bridges. I found these. I don't know what they are. They were sitting in the street in front of my house. They look like I-beams. They're, they're shaped like totally scale I-beams for this. Now, unfortunately, I only have these two pieces. It was one piece that was kind of broken. I don't want to make a bunch of really small, tight ones with buildings close together. I think one really large bridge here would be really great. And I'm going to make it so that it's like two of these little wall sections wide and it'll be a great area to, you know, battle on. Big enough to put like some vehicles and stuff like that. But I need something that actually makes this clip into these that won't fall out and be loose and crappy and break. Previously, I used some straws. These paper ones are a little too big. These plastic ones fit in nicely, but they're not very strong. Ooh, that would work well. If I were to just put the straws inside, not bad. But there's actually the, just the pegs from the set. And these are plastic bits designed to fit in nicely. I might be able to just glue these in. Do something like that and like that to give me more length. They're almost too tight. I don't wanna to have to force these into these spots here. So this might actually be better. Oh, ah, mm. Now, of course, these sets actually have these pieces that are designed to do the walkways. Surely there's a way that I can do this. Yeah, this, now we're cooking with fire. If I were to just do something like that, using these supports, which will look awesome and fit the set really well. Glue these on top. Yeah, that's way better. SMRT. Sitting like that is not great. There's this weird gap here that doesn't need to be there. A little hobby saw, perfect, look at that. Nice and flat. It's a nice. How's your week going? What are you working on? If you don't have one of these little hobby saws, you should get one. They're fan friggin' tastic. If anybody knows what this is, can you let me know? I don't know what this came from. Like I said, it was just litter. I don't know what it is, but it's such perfect scale I-beam. If I could find more of it, I'd be pretty happy. Styrene stuff for model railroads is very expensive. So I would love to have cheap alternative. Time to glue. Um, super glue might be too brittle for this. I want this to be really strong. I'm gonna use some five minute epoxy. healthy amount of epoxy. Now I gotta wait for this to cure before I can move on to anything else. So, uh, or I could take this opportunity to tell you about the sponsor of this video. <laughs> if you're watching my videos, chances are you're already interested in learning new skills and trying your hand at different artistic ventures. While channels like mine are a great place to do that, Skillshare offers a much more structured ad-free environment with classes led by experts to help you grow whatever hobby or creative venture you're passionate about. There's lots of subjects being taught there that are applicable to miniature hobbyists, painting, color theory, macro photography, and even people world building and story Storytelling. Lincoln Michaels' class, Science Fiction and Fantasy, Creating Unique and Powerful Worlds, is a perfect example of a class that could be applied to those of us creating unique worlds for our friends and families to game in. It's a great investment for creative people looking to refine their art. Now, if you want to just give it a try for yourself, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. Thanks, Skillshare, for being awesome and supporting creative people.
Obviously these, uh, well, this bridge needs some kind of actual floor or platform. Right now I can put something on here and I know that these are gonna be kept the appropriate distance apart. There is still some flex here though. My kind of plan is to use some of this plastic card, put it on and that'll give me, you know, my foundation to, to build on. But this stuff is pretty flexible too. And I want it to be really sturdy when it's, you know, taken apart and put into storage. I need some cross bracing that's really strong. I have a giant box of sprues, which is great plastic that totally will work for this, I think. For glue, I'm gonna use this plastic cement and hope that this plastic from these random things I found is actually a plastic that will react to this. Ah, you know what, screw it. Come on, on the marker. Son of a gun. The theme of this build, or this part of the build, is uh, applying five minute epoxy and then waiting for it to cure so I can put on the next pieces. I'm gonna go pet my cat. All right, let's see how this fancy uh, clamp worked. Hopefully now, I didn't glue this to the buildings by accident. There we go. And I can just cut off the excess. A little bit too much <laughs> epoxy there. Kind of want to think about getting this a little bit sturdier. Quite the gap in between That'll do, donkey, that'll do. Mm. Sprugo, nice. Yeah, now it's a bit stronger. But I gotta figure out how to, how to decorate this now. Do I want to use floor panels to match the rest of the set? I don't know, but I do want to use that somewhere. I think one thing YouTube videos never make clear uh, when it comes to ones about people making stuff, just like how many hours of tedious tasks there are. I think I want to put these on the outside. Do something to fill this in. Run this right down the middle. There's these cutouts here for these pillars. I don't really love that. I could line this edge up and then fill this in with something. That would give a nice straight line in the middle. I could actually overhang, overhang this. Cause it doesn't matter if that pushes out in between the two buildings and then do that. If I put this like that and, am I having such a hard time with this? There we go. No. Oi, 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 be da, be da. Why is this confusing me? This is gonna be good. This is gonna be like a nice big platform. Turns out I'm actually all out of five minute epoxy. So instead maybe I'll just use some no more nails construction adhesive. Okay, now I'm just gonna squeeze these down and try to get an even overhang here. It's like making a cake. all sorts of neat things to put on like stuff like this but I really want to make sure this is playable I don't want to put too much crap on here that minis can't stand on I kind of want some kind of railing and this how would this work we have all these toppers I'm not sure that it looks right Ooh. well hello there little interlocking clever pattern nice to meet you <laughs> 
Oh, I like this. Yeah, I, uh, I like that. Oh man, yeah, that's great. It's too bad this No More Nails takes so long to dry because it sure is convenient to uh, just squeeze out and not have to mix up or anything. Oh yeah, I need another one of those. Gotta say, that worked pretty well. Get some kicker on this. This is a, I only get one shot at this situation. All right, I gotta center this and hope my shaky hands can get her done. Come on, come on. Bite, 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 bite. Uh-huh, not bad. I'm a little bit off here. I didn't line that up perfectly, but hey, that's, that's pretty good. This is the part of this whole thing that I'm the most happy about. I feel like this is a really clever way to do a barrier. I was a little bit concerned about trying to do a barrier, like a railing or something, because it'd be so fragile. But I think, I think this is just like really, really good. It looks great, it goes with the aesthetic. Oh, I gotta be honest. I'm not thinking too straight here. Just for the record, my shop has no air conditioning and it's very hot. I should just add some rubble now. Come on, cheap spray bottle, you can do it. I'm gonna put some super glue right into this, see what happens. I know you have a reaction that can be kind of cool. Yeah, it's doing some weird stuff. Wow, that actually did turn out really freaking cool. That's awesome. Perfect for Plague City. I, I think it turned out pretty darn good. I'm happy. I uh, just painted it quickly off camera. You didn't see that. It's the same paint job I've done on the rest of it in the previous videos. One thing I did do differently is I kind of played around with white oil washes on those weird super glue boil things just to see how it would look. And it kind of looked cool. Like I, it did give it a nice sort of sickly look. It could be done much better. And of all the things I did on this little build today, the thing that I'm gonna take with me uh, and continue to work with and try on this set is that super glue PVA glue weird interaction combo. I did it before painting and that might have been a shame. I actually think that I could do it right on these finished pieces that have been painted already and then they'd just be white and I could put some washes on them and it would look really gross and weird and plaguey. I think, I don't know. I also don't know how putting them on top of a layer of oil wash will react. I'll have to run some tests, but I think it has the potential for a really cool, easy way to, you know, add some so, something organic to this set because that's the one thing it is kind of missing. It's really a nice looking industrial ruined set, but I think it could use now some biologics and something gross, some bodily fluids, some fleshy bits, and that might be one way that I go after that. This bridge, one thing about it is it definitely could use some more supports like underneath it. It, it looks a little bit thin and kind of defying gravity. It's not really how bridges work. There should be some more supports to make this, you know, usable in a bunch of different spaces to make it modular and actually click in different places. This is a sacrifice I'm okay with making. Also, it leaves lots of room underneath if I have this one level lower models can still fit underneath. So overall, I'm quite pleased. I hope you enjoyed the format of this video, just hanging out with me while I, you know, improvise a little bit of build, see what it's like for me when I'm just hanging out and crafting. If you like the video, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section below. If you wanna pick up some hobby tools or supplies and help support the channel in the process, you can do that by doing your hobby shopping on blackmagiccraft.ca. They have an essential equipment page. It's got links to a bunch of the stuff I use and love and explained what it is and why I use it and shopping through those links helps fund the production of videos like this one. The other great way you can help out me and the channel and help me keep it going is through Patreon. I'd love to have you as the newest member of the Black Magic Craft Fellowship. Yeah, Plague City. It's finally starting to feel like a, like a city. Cheers. <laughs>